Hey guys, what's up? A very good morning to everyone. Today I am going to represent the topic called Grafana and under this topic, I am going to show you that how we can install the Grafana 8, which is the latest version of the Grafana on the Linux system. I am going to install this Grafana 8 on the CentOS based Linux system. Guys, I have decided to cover this topic because I was continuously getting requests from my viewers that I should cover the Grafana topic as well. And that is the reason I have decided to create a new playlist called monitoring tool and I am going to cover each and every sections of Grafana under this particular playlist. So if you haven't yet subscribed my channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon and be updated with the learning destinations. Hello guys my name is Aminash and you are watching the learning destination. Hey okay, guys, so before I proceed towards the practical sessions, I would like to bring your notifications to watch the changes has been brought with the latest release of Grafana 8. The first changes is there is this time they have introduced the library panels. The second one is that real time streaming. The third one is that now this time you can Prometheus metric browser can also access. Fourth is now this time they have introduced the bar chart visualization, which is something looking like this one. So you can analyze your logs through the bar chart as well. There is a state timeline visualizations and which is something looking like that. After that, they have also introduced the histogram visualizations, which is looking like this. Apart from that, the, there is a facility. Now you can download the logs as well. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to perform the practical sessions. And this is my CentOS 7 based Linux system. And I'm going to install right now the Grafana 8 using the RPM. So in order to install through the RPM, firstly, I need to add the repository. I have already prepared my command. So in such a way, I can save the time. And this video can be finished in short span of time. So let me add this repo. Now I'm going to install the graph now. You don't need to worry because I'm going to write all these commands in the description sections. I think font is quite a small, so let me change and increase some appearance, the font size. So it will be easy to visualize. Okay. Okay guys, so since it was taking a bit longer time and that's the reason that I have paused the video. Now you can see that it has been Grafana 8 version is successfully installed and you can see here the version, it is 8.3.4. However, let's verify once again and check the version. So now you can see that the version Grafana version is 8.3.4. Now let's start the Grafana and enable it as well. So first enable it, the Grafana server. After that, let's start the Grafana server and check the status. Now check the status of the Grafana server. So it is active and running. Now we can access this Grafana server on the port number 3000 and uh, since it is running on the IP address and the IP address of this machine is 109, it means 192.168, this one and on the port number 3000, I can access it. So let's see. So now I paste here and then I paste 3000. So now we can see that we have successfully getting the access of Grafana 8 and look and fail this time with the Grafana 8 is totally changed. The by default username and password of the Grafana is admin admin. So it is asking to reset the new password. So I am going to reset the new password here.
Yep, bingo. So now you can see that we have successfully installed the Grafana and now we are successfully accessing the dashboard of the Grafana. Now I'm going to show you that how you can create the dashboard inside the Grafana. Okay, guys. so now I'm going to show you that how you can create the dashboard. So there is a plus icon on the left hand side when you click. Now there is two options to create the dashboard. First is dashboard. You can click here on this dashboard and you can do the add new panel. The second option is very fascinating, simple and easiest way. And that I personally recommend you, you opt these options. There is options called import, right? Now Grafna itself provides thousands of various templates of dashboard and uh, you can choose here, whichever is perfectly fits in your requirement, you can take it from here. Okay, so when you come into this particular website, I'm going to mention this website link uh, in the description. So you can take it from there. So let's suppose that I want this kind of template for the service mesh. So I need to click it. Now, when you click on the import, you can import this particular dashboard in two ways. Either you can give the ID, which is this one, or you can give the whole URL. Okay, so I'm going to give the whole URL here and I say load. So it is saying that this is already exists. So I'm changing the name, something like that. And ID. So basically the ID is this one, copy ID. And I can put here, change ID. And I can say import. So now you can see that I have successfully import, but since I haven't yet installed this uh, particular uh, called service mesh and that's the reason that I am unable to face the matrix. Secondly, since Grafana is only the monitoring tool, dashboard monitoring tool, it doesn't itself face the matrix. In order to face the matrix, we need to install the Prometheus and the Prometheus data can be displayed under the Grafana. And that is the reason that we are not getting the exact matrix here because one, the Prometheus is not installed. Secondly, on this particular system, I haven't enabled or installed service mesh. If you want me to cover the Grafana with the Prometheus, you can write me in the comment sections and I will take it in my next upcoming sections under the Grafana. So this is all about the Grafana 8 guys. That's how you can install on the CentOS based Linux system, the Grafana 8. You try because now it has been released with a lot of additional features and it's very useful. And if you have any questions, if you getting a stack with the any error, write me in the comment sections and I will help you there. That's all for the day guys. Hoping that you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't feel shy. Write me in the comment sections and I will help you there. Guys, if you have any feedback, any suggestions, please write me. Your feedback and suggestions are always welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it maximum as much as you can. So thank you so much once again for watching this. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, you have very lovely day.